When I got my CYA tested, it read 137 parts per million. The safe range? Most experts say 30 to 50. What is CYA? It's a stabilizer that protects chlorine from sunlight. And that sounds good, right? But here's the catch. It never goes away. Every time you add a chlorine puck that has stabilizer or certain types of shock, more CYA gets added to your pool. At first I thought, no big deal, my water's clear. But as the CYA builds up, your chlorine becomes less effective. You could have five PPM of chlorine and still grow algae. And guess what the pool store told me? That 137 CYA is okay. <laughs> Their printed range said 30 to 200 was acceptable. And that's simply not true. So here's what I'm doing to fix it. I drained my pool down to the intake, about 36 inches high, and then I'm refilling it. I'm gonna do that two more times to get my CYA way under 90 PPM. It's still high, but it'll be manageable for now. From now on, I'm switching to calcium hypochlorite or Cal Hypo, no stabilizer added. And if you've got high CYA, that's what I recommend. To safely sanitize your pool, your chlorine level also depends on what CYA level you have. I'm going to put a link in the description of a chart I made showing the CYA level and the corresponding free chlorine level you should maintain to keep your pool perfectly safe. Let me be clear. The person who helped me at the store was really kind and helpful. This isn't about them. This is about a business model. They sell you stabilized chlorine like BioGuard SilkGuard, which adds CYA. Then they sell more shock, more clarifiers, and more algicide, all to treat the symptoms of a problem they created. And don't get me started on price. They sold me something called Balance Pack 100. It's just baking soda. Balance Pack 300, calcium chloride. Low and slow, it's dry acid. And you can get muriatic acid at a hardware store for a fraction of the cost. If you remember my previous video, they tried to sell me one gallon of muriatic acid for $96. I got the good stuff at Ace Hardware for 11 bucks. These aren't two times markups. Some of them are 10 times markups or more. And I don't mind paying for quality, but I do mind being misled, especially when your test results say CYA of 137 is just fine. So was my first video wrong? Not at all. If you drain your pool each year and start fresh, stabilized chlorine can work just fine. That's what I had been doing for years. But if you have a larger pool, or you're not draining and refilling it annually, you must understand CYA. If you don't, your pool will eventually become unmanageable, no matter how much chlorine you add. Here's the system I use now, and it's working great. Start with tap water or freshly balanced water. Use Cal Hypo Shock or liquid chlorine. Keep your CYA between 30 and 60 ppm. Maintain your free chlorine at the proper level for your CYA. Again, I made a chart for you, link in the description. Test weekly, adjust only what's needed. The pool stores will try to sell you a water conditioner. That's just borax, you can get borax. Baking soda for total alkalinity up and washing soda for pH and total alkalinity up. And these are all available at Walmart or hardware stores. Now for the science part. Here's why CYA messes with your chemistry. CYA acts like a buffer. It binds with chlorine and it slows it down. The higher your CYA, the more chlorine you'll need to kill bacteria. And there's one more twist. CYA also affects alkalinity. When your CYA is too high, your adjusted alkalinity can drop to zero, making pH bounce all over the place. I love small businesses, and I know many pool stores are family owned but I also believe in honesty and transparency, and that's why I made this video. If you've been struggling with algae or chlorine that just doesn't seem to work, the problem might not be you. It might be your cyanic acid or CYA, and nobody's telling you about it. So please like, share, comment below with your CYA level experience. Subscribe for the honest pool advice that doesn't cost you 10 times more than it should. Thanks for watching.